Let the people recount the wisdom of the saints and let the church proclaim their praise. Their names will live on and on. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. We take a moment and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, St. Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. But whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. And what you have heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false, just as it, is, as it taught you, remain in him. And now, children, remain in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the the ends ends of the the earth earth have have seen seen the the saving saving power power of God. God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All All the the ends ends of the the earth earth have seen seen the saving power power of of God. God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All All the the ends ends of of the the earth earth have have seen seen the saving saving power power of God. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All All the the ends ends of the the earth earth have have seen seen the the saving saving power power of of God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize, if you are not the Christ, or Elijah, or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we see that John the Baptist knows who he is, and who he is not. He knows what his work is and what is not his work. So, are you as sure about your life, your mission, your identity, It seems the center of John the Baptist's identity is Jesus, whom he dearly loved. So, does Jesus shape your life from within you and from your heart? Are you single-hearted in your direction Or do you allow yourself to be swayed by popular opinion? We would all like to be as steady as John the Baptist, but most of us fall off the center from time to time. So, spend a moment today examining your heart, how you can make room for Jesus on this, the second day of a whole new year.
Let us pray. For the church, that we may look to the Holy Family as a model of love and devotion for each other, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families around the world, that they may be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor, free from conflict and strife, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with illness, disability, or old age, that they may find care and assistance from others in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are unable to attend Mass with us today, that they may be united with us in spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially Brendan Mills, Mike Whaley, Alice Davison, Alfonso Roca, and Christy Blakesley, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, especially Sylvia Hutchinson, Ted Novus, and for Teresa Rourke, Victor Lo Logan Irwin, Jim Pascal, and Thomas Powers, uh, for all for whom this Mass is being offered, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and the intentions of the Loudon family for whom this Mass is being offered, and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory a means to our eternal salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for all the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with all the angels and saints, we join in the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase, strengthen from on high in all who celebrate the feast day 
of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve and persevere in integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this new year, live the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.